What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at again with another episode series. Check me out right here. My man, Snoop Dogg, had to apologize to Gil King. Now, remember my man, Kobe Bryant, rest in peace, the GOAT, passed away, unfortunately, in a helicopter crash. Now, then remember Lisa Leslie and Gail King. They had an interview. Gail King started to bring up some questions about the alleged situation with Kobe Bryant and his sexual allegations and the case that had been thrown out. Now, at that point, many, 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 many people were offended, including Snoop Dogg. Now, I don't know what's up with him and this damn rag. But he cussed out Gail King, called her all type of hoes and bees, and we gonna come get you. That's when Susan Rice came and told Snoop Dogg, like, listen, if you don't back the F up off of Gail, you gonna get this work. Now, let me, let me deal with that real quick. I was seeing if Snoop was gonna have to apologize for what he said, which he did end up apologizing and saying that he didn't really mean it that way. But Susan Rice, if you can see here in this tweet, the real reason why she was able to pull that off is because she knew Snoop Dogg and black men like him have no real allies. And that's the conversation I want to mention to you brothers out there watching the video. Check this out, man. Kobe Bryant worth $250 million. No black allies. People can come against him and talk trash. Snoop Dogg, who's sticking up behind or sticking up for Kobe Bryant, says some things to Gayle King, curses her out, but has no real allies or support. And this typically is what happens when you have brothers like Snoop or brothers like LeBron or other brothers who want to stick up for a person like Kobe Bryant and defend his name. But what ends up happening is outsiders know that really in our situation as African-American men, we don't have any real pull to protect ourselves or protect our interests. And see, that's where you brothers come in, right? We got to be strategic about this thing. Because when Susan Rice says you're dealing against an army, she means that. You're dealing with the army of white zaddy. You're dealing with the army of feminism. You're dealing with the army of getting the man on you. You're dealing with all of those armies. And they have all of that layer of protection because they have what? They got lawyers, they have what? They have people, businesses, they could pull their money away from Snoop Dogg, they can banish him for speaking at colleges, they can really make his life miserable because of what they wanna do to ruin him because of what he's saying to protect Kobe Bryant. And this is why a lot of brothers don't wanna stick up for men or black men in general. Because what happens when you say the things that are true doesn't matter that they're true if you can't get any support. So here's the situation. Black men gotta really start to understand that if you want black men to speak up for you, represent your interests, you gotta support them. Supporting is not always about money. Supporting is just basically showing up to the event. Supporting basically is just telling somebody else about the brother. Supporting is doing all these things, getting organized to fight the beast that is feminism, to fight the beast that is Oprah Winfrey to fight the beast that is hating on black men each and every day in America. And that comes to you brothers to come around and help us with that. So let's go to the next clip and get into some more stuff. So Superhead, age 41 years old, is talking about she's pregnant. Let's stop right there. Uh, I mean, 41 and pregnant, okay. Just goes to show that these old hoes still got it, right? Still thought it up. Well, who got her pregnant? Was it, um, you know, 50-year-old Negro, 60-year-old Negro, 70-year-old sugar daddy? Ah! Uh -uh. 30-year-old successful tech entrepreneur Everett Taylor supposedly got her pregnant. I want to deal with this, right? Because a lot of times we talk about educated brothers is doing things out there. Educated brothers is doing things over there. Educated brothers is not even dealing with hoes like super head. But you forgot that the head is still super. And see, this is what my homeboy used to always tell me, man. 
leave them project chicks alone. Leave holes in their projects alone because they got some stuff that you're not ready for. And their brother Everett Taylor, once Superhead went and told the public she was pregnant, he was talking about committing suicide. They had to send the police over there and hound her brother, right? Now, if it's his baby, I don't know. But here's what I want to tell you, bro. I know you're looking for somebody to feel sorry for you and you blaming this chick and all of this stuff. Nobody told you to hit that. Everybody knows that she's been with Lil Wayne. She's been with Shaq. I even hit it on accident. I don't know how I did it. I hit it. So, you know, I'm ugly. If I got it, then who else can get it? Bruh, you was trying to find out what that sloppy topic was like, okay? And then when you found out what it was working with, you couldn't stop. And she know you, you a young dude, up and coming, all of that. You know what I'm saying? She getting older. Of course, you trying to go up in that thing raw, thinking that she can't get pregnant, right? But then you found out like, oops, she can get pregnant. And it's probably your baby. And everybody know you got a thought that wrote a book called Superhead at 41 pregnant at the tender age of 30 when your life is on the up and up. Bruh, I know that's a hard pill to swallow. I have been in a similar situation. I know this sucks. But for you black men out there, listen, they coming after you. If you a brother and you got your stuff together and you young, you a tech entrepreneur, you a doctor, you a lawyer, you an engineer, they are watching. The ones who hitting the wall, they are watching. And they are gonna give that access to you like never before. See, the young chicks ain't really tripping, but them older ones, they are watching. So your brothers gotta make good decisions because listen, they are gonna try to get you to wipe them up. That's where we are. And all of that simping, man, I know how it is. I know that sloppy was good, but you wasn't saying that when you was receiving the sloppy. You was back with your eyes rolling all back here and everything like that, all right? So listen, bruh, really, my condolences for you getting caught up with this raw, but keep on pushing though. We all them men there made mistakes with some of these, you know, thotties. I mean, you did know that she was out there slurping people off. I mean, she did it on videos, but it's all good though, bro. You ain't gotta be simping um, and doing all of that. It's gonna be all good, family. You just keep on pushing and you know, if it's your baby, pay the child support. If it's not, get deuces on her. Don't be crying about it now, nigga, because it's too late. You know, and she she already talked about, you know, you're gonna get back with her anyway after all this crying. She already said you're coming back. So I don't know what's going on with you and her, but she's saying that she gonna welcome you back into the life. Y'all gonna be a couple because I know that you hooked on that sloppy and you need it in your life. So I already know it's good. So stop tripping, fam. Well, guys, that's my time. Gotta get up out of here. Quick hitter segment. Shout out to everybody in the building. Make sure that you go to the first comment pinned to the top and pick you up one of these black men or perfect t-shirts. You gotta go out there looking good, you know what I'm saying? Where are my stuff though? Everybody loving it, people love it. A lot of people rocking them around the USA. Pick you up one, maybe two. I know you got that paycheck coming player. So shout out to everybody. Make sure you contact me, my email's there and the first comment pinned to the top will help you out with there. We'll help you out with that in any way possible. Thank you, God bless, and as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm out.